learning hybrid photography one day at a time. Become a smarter photographer every day at discovermirrorless.com. It's free and phone and tablet friendly. Hey guys, it's Rob again for discovermirrorless.com. And I'm working on my hybrid eScape project inside of Lightroom. You remember last time I showed you how to edit video inside of Lightroom and how to synchronize your still images and your videos. So I've got my stills and my videos collected and my next step is to upload them to ProShow Web. Now you can use really any video editing software to put a hybrid e-product, eScape together. So I choose ProShow Web because I like the transitions, uh, I like the display options for the different frames, and honestly it's really easy. What I've been doing lately is using ProShow Web to produce the slideshow itself and then downloading the slideshow and adding titles and that sort of thing inside of Photoshop on my computer. So you don't have to only use one application. If you're familiar with Premiere Pro or Photoshop, you can edit video there or you can use something like ProShow Web which is free or really inexpensive for a subscription and have that build your slides for you and it just saves that much time. Now if you're working with your images and videos in Lightroom, you want to go to photodex.com and download the Lightroom plugin. And you can use the plugin for ProShow Web or ProShow Gold or ProShow Producer. I'm using it in this case with ProShow Web. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit Command or Control on the PC, A, to select all of my images and videos. And I'm going to right click on one and go to Export. Now you can go right here to Upload ProShow Web and that starts the plugin but you have to sign in with your member name and your password every time that you use it this way. It says right here, don't want to log in every time. Go to File Export and basically build a preset. Okay, so I'm going to cancel that and we're going to go build the preset right now. So I'm going to again right click on one of the images, go to Export, uh, and then I'm going to choose from this drop down ProShow Web and that gives me the options. You can see I'm already signed in here and upload to a show. You could have a preset to upload to any shows that you've already built on ProShow Web, but for the preset, I'm going to have create new show. That way, every time I upload, then the plugin knows to create a new slideshow for me on the ProShow server. I'm going to pick the default theme for my preset. In this case, I'm going to use full frame because I like that one for landscape photography. And you don't want to hit export just yet. You want to go over to your preset section on the left and click add. So I'm going to title this one Pro Show Full Frame. Okay, under user presets and hit create. And then I'm just going to cancel it and show you how this works. So I still have all my images selected. I'm going to right click on them, go down to my export menu, and now here I have Pro Show Full Frame. So I'm going to click there and it's going to send all my images up to ProShow Web. Now when the plugin finishes running, you're going to see this dialog. This is not a mistake. There's nothing wrong with your computer, but the plugin won't upload movie files. Okay, it won't upload video files. So what you're going to get is uh, some export operations were not performed and it didn't send your videos. So no problem. We just have to send our videos to ProShow a different way. So now I have just my videos selected, just the four videos I need to upload. I'm going to right click and go to export. And I have a preset already, uh, video for ProShow Web. Let me show you what that does for me. It's going to export the videos to the hard drive in a folder on my desktop called ProShow. That way I know where it's going to go. I, I can just go look there and upload them to uh, ProShow Web. Check include video files, H.264, maximum quality, that's the only settings I'm changing. So now I've opened a web browser and I've logged on to my ProShow web account and gone to the Shows tab. Okay, the first thing on the list is my new slideshow, literally my new slideshow, that I just created using the ProShow web plugin from Lightroom. So I double click on that and you can see the still images, but obviously the videos aren't there, so we have to add those. I'm just going to click here where it says Add Photos and Videos. Navigate to my ProShow folder where my videos automatically go from my export preset. And I can select them all, uh, click on the first, shift click on the last, and hit open. So my videos are all uploaded, and I want to mute the audio on each track because I'm going to add music over the slideshow, and I don't want the audio in each of the video clips to distract from that. So I just select the 
video clip and click the mute button. And I'm going to be sure and do that for all four of my video clips before I get started arranging them. Now the ProShow Web plugin for Lightroom has put the still images in the same order they were in in my Lightroom collection, which is great. But since my videos came in separately, I'll have to put them in the correct order. It's a simple drag and drop, and I can remember most of it, but what I might end up doing is referring back to my Lightroom to see how I had them arranged here. Okay, so my still frames and my videos are uploaded to ProShow Web and they're in the order that I want them to be in in my final hybrid eScape. And my next step is to choose a theme and decide on the effects for each slide and to choose the transitions, music, etc. And I will go over that next time. So stay tuned and I'll see you then. Learning hybrid photography one day at a time. Become a smarter photographer every day at discovermirrorless.com. It's free and phone and tablet friendly.